from their man-made ropes, my own grave. And there will always be times when sin revives, but I don't die from it, now I rise to it, slicing half the power of my enemies and slowly ease through the loopholes of their deceased red seas. What unclean Philistine can rock with my destiny? None. On my voyage I killed lions and slaughtered bears, so any other battle is already done. The truth is, I come in the name of he whose words are like silver refined seven times in a furnace. You question how one like me could write this, but please we fix this before you dismiss this. Let me say I am a Holy Ghost witness, and I'm sorry your heads can't bop to this, but please let your brain cells hop on this. These words I saw step out of trans-existence, and in an eternal instance bury themselves in my transient mind, and even my death embody the sign that the fatherland is not too far. It's almost in full view and in the midst of my mind's eye I can almost taste the new wine of a new era of life that we read about through words of a grapevine. Those same words that told you there was more to life than running down trying to live someone else's. Conflicts and confrontations lowering your life expectations. You cannot achieve much with your pathetic concept of diplomatic negotiations. I am tired of strivers organizations, sweeping up the excrement of ghetto relations, of those boys who hold no considerations for single moms, too selfish to receive the revelation that God is watching everything and after death comes an explanation of all the sufferings their foolish ways have caused. I cannot rejoice or applaud at the fact that our futures have been flawed. Zion is calling while mothers are frowning, falling one by one, wiping the blood filled sweat from their brow as they dig the graves of the offspring they pray would remain beyond their final days. Receiving real revelations of what it truly means to forgive and why they were chosen to outlive my dying generation. Us, we cannot see, let alone cope with this degradation. Spend the hard earned cash of our forefathers on worldly aspiration and self glorification. We can no longer afford that priceless wisdom. But, big man, why are you looking so small? Hands down your packs, walking in a daze. Haven't you heard the price has been paid? So, come from your grave, walk in the light and stride in the way. Mini skirts for school has you looking like a fool, but, little girl, did you know that you cost more than pearls? Zion gave birth and paid for all your work, so come from your grave, walk in the light and stride in the way, because the fatherland is not too far. Thank you. 
And a lot of people are fearful of the image it presents to the many nations who will siege this great city. Like most locations up and down the country, London has been scarred by gun and knife crime over the last 10 years. Government initiatives, local councillors and community leaders have all tried their bit to try and curb the rise in criminal activity and also divert young people into more positive activities. But many young people say only they can stop the growing number of gangs who are controlling our streets and killing one another. Well, we'll be talking to some of those young people and individuals who are doing their bit to stop the growing violence in our communities. But my first three guests, one of them is a gang member and the other two are very close to joining them. They've asked that we protect their identity so you at home will not hear their real voice and we will not be using their real names. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome Crafty, Junior and Emmanuel to the show. One of them was in a gang, two of them haven't been, but understand why young people get involved in gang culture. So I want to welcome Junior, Emmanuel, and also Crafty to the show. How are you doing, guys? I'm fine. Hi, fine. Junior, I'm going to start with you first, because you, you were in a gang. What, what made you get involved in kind of like gang culture and stuff? Well, that's like, usually, like, people get involved in a gang with like, family influences, like older cousins, and that like, things along them lines or it could be that like, say you get bullied in school or something like that and that like, you just decide that you're not having it no more and that like, to get out of that bully cycle you join that gang and then just turn your life, like, life around so you join was that your kind of route into gang was it were you being bullied is that why you decided to get into gang why did no. you decide what was no. it for you it wasn't like really violent like, mm -hmm. it's more musical because like when you're in like a uni and you have lots of allies, you feel like more safe. So is it a gang or is it just a group of friends? Did it just start with a group of friends? You just started with your friends? friends, yeah. And then when did it go from rolling with your friends to actually getting involved in stuff which most people would say was, was criminal, criminal activity? So you're, you're with your friends for music, but then something happened, something changed. What changed? No, because you know that, like, say you're, like, you're doing your music thing, there's obviously people going to be hating on you and that, and then that. Certain members in the gang won't tolerate that, but like, I decided to leave in it. Why did you decide to leave? Because of the there was a lot of trouble. A lot of yeah. Crafty, you're not in a gang, but you know why a lot of people, a lot of young people, decide to join them. Junior just said it's maybe because of you being bullied at school. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like it's just your friends, just a group of friends you're rolling with, and something then happens, and you get involved in other stuff. What have you seen on the streets? Because you were telling me before you you understand why young people get involved in, in gangs and stuff. Um, basically, like certain people, they also do it because of what he just said. But it's another way out, like it's an easy way out, or you could more or less say, yeah, they're basically doing it to impress other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just make themselves look good when it's not that. Like. To me, that's not the way it is. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be in a gang to impress someone. If you're gonna be in a gang, you're gonna be in a gang. But don't do it to impress no one. It's not about. So we have gangs, and we just have friends, because that's what I, I want to make that distinction. There are just some young people who just have mates, they roll with mates, they don't get involved in anything bad. And there are those young people who choose, you're saying, to join a gang, fear for protection or other things. Yeah. What have you seen on, on, on the streets? Have you, because we, we, you know, 17 young people have died, you know, at the hands of other young people this year, victims of gun and knife crime. Yeah. Have you seen any of that in your short time here? Um, recently I had one friend that was stabbed, well, who was basically, um, a school thing involving one school and another school and like it led to it just basically started off with talking and then it just led to fighting and then all of a sudden weapons got involved which led to one of my friends getting stabbed and he almost died but he, luckily enough he's not dead and uh, it's just escalated from there right about now it's more or less died down but 